Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Victory at Sea Pacific, episode number 39, I think. Uh, this is it. This is the big... Well, I don't know. I guess this is it should have been, more appropriately, the terminology we were using when we were engaging... Whoops. Truck. And we don't have that situation in front of us right now. But what we do have is... Oh, all my aircraft are gone. See, that's just no good. I clicked this and it is teleporting me somewhere. <laughs> I, do, I don't want to know where the rest of my aircraft are, frankly. <laughs> it would have been nice to be able to spot. So we might actually have to launch a cruiser ahead. I'm disappointed to do that, but just to make sure... Oh, wait. Do you have fuel? Are you just... Yeah, it was... It's the usual situation, aviation fuels. Aviation fuels on short supply. I think that we should not be launching our aircraft, but we don't have the option selected anyway, so I guess it's impossible for us to choose. They just run out of air of aviation fuel and... I mean, you can feel that this game really has it in some sometimes, but in other times it doesn't. Like, I really love the concept a lot about it, but aircraft are definitely buggy as heck. So we'll just charge right out. I guess let's just get right to it then. Ah, good. We're not going to need... That's good. Doesn't look like we're going to need a spotter aircraft. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. It's a pretty big destroyer. And what the heck is going on here? Oh, Supermarine Walrus, and they are torn up. Oh, they're taking fire. Okay. Is this got 16-inch guns as well? Because it's firing from... Yeah, 15-inch guns. So they're firing from a ways away. We'll just charge in. Let's get them as fast as possible. See if we can catch any of the action. And yeah, these are light cruisers. I'm not the Kuma. What do you know? For the millionth time, the Kuma is there. Do we get credit for war bonds this way? I don't think so. Let's watch these supermarines go in. Getting taken down one at a time. Oh, almost. Supermarine walruses. Ah. Yep. The. the you know, as you'd expect, 15-inch coastal batteries are making sure work of this. Okay. Back we go. Everyone rejoin fleet. Take off that. And next we want to just select anything. What are you doing? Go land. And you will head this way. I guess we might as well reland. Let's see if we can suck up any aviation fuel from that. All right. Wow, exciting. So, what are we going to do in this episode? I think we go after the Mariana Islands. I don't think that there's... There's not much to it. No, no point in waiting. We have ammunition. We're ready to go. We'll send out a scout plane. I see. Let's forbid launching aircraft. Hopefully they listen. It's like the worst time to forbid launching aircraft. It's like the most important time to be spotting. We'll rely on our advanced radar. Yeah, this is why we're gonna build a lot of convoys from from the from the back. Fifteen more days. Oh, okay, this is gonna be done very quickly. Good. I think we'll go with more victories after that. It's going to reduce our war bond, war bond amount quite a bit, but that's fine. Uh, now, at some point, let's actually... Can we stop launching Hawaii? You're no longer really at the front. Even Johnston Island, I, I think we should forbid launching you guys as well. Like, the single one... The, if they have a single aircraft, it's fine, but let's push that supply forward. And your surplus already... What I probably ought to do 
since we don't expect we're going to need this is these guys have dauntlesses anyway what I think I'm going to do is just kind of recycle them one two three four five six one two three four five six so once these are done I'll swap them in for this to just get some more war bonds and we'll leave the B24s just in case but we yeah we probably don't even need those same kind of situation everywhere else really I mean uh, Johnson Island is not likely to be at the forefront of the war anytime soon so what do we need we want uh, let's see well we only want two airplanes here oh here here's the yeah you know what let's let's not be silly we'll at least respawn ah, you know what actually yeah we can be silly these are the let's take a look at the difference between these two so this is the Kingfisher we've been using we'll want to upgrade these in fact even 21 it's probably okay we I know that we just launched you well, let's take a look at the difference. I was going to put the Seahawks on the new ones as well, but maybe it's not that important. So we have 4,700. Oh, it's it's significantly less range. Much higher service ceiling. You know what? They're really the same. I would say the range might even be... Oh, the two, I mean, it's very fast. Don't get me wrong. The Seahawk... It's one of the faster aircraft we have, and it's probably, I think it's faster than the Wildcats even. 288 versus 272, so just a bit slower, definitely slower than the Hellcats. But, def I mean, faster than most of the other aircraft we have. And the B-29, oh yes, so we, we have more to unlock still, obviously. I don't know what this is going to be, is that the Corsair? That's the Corsair, it's got to be the Corsair. Because I, I think somebody told me you can unlock the Corsair. And that will be absolutely the king of the skies. At least if it's anything like history. Alright, good. So at least we somewhat participated in this attack. Our defensive Port Moresby. And we know that there's some convoys getting raided over here. So if we want... I think we will. You know what? We don't... We don't need the fuel or anything. Let's just go help out. Last known position. Let's go for it. So this is what Task Force 22 is being sent to do. Instead of anything else, they're just going to help the British. It doesn't really help us accomplish our war goals. So a lot of me, I mean, strategically, I don't think it's the right move. If we had a not brain dead ally, if this wasn't the AI, it'd probably be worth it. But as it is, this is just a a raid on the Japanese submarine situation because I don't think the British are going to help us much whether or not their convoys are being interdicted or well, not just interdicted sent to the bottom sunk so what is this situation of truck yeah the port and the shipyard are just ravaged but the airfield is in great shape <laughs> and we are still repairing those okay good sounds good to me for Marshall Islands, yeah, we do want to swap these in, especially for something like the Wildcats, which are useless. So we'll get these guys to spotter rolls. You know, it does not leave this. This does not leave a lot of offensive capability, but I don't think we're going to need any kind of fighters. And if we did need fighters, we would want them to be Hellcats. You're fine. Midway was where I think we were repairing. Yeah. So the Dauntless is still, actually, I mean, there is a, there's still a good reason to keep those around. At least two, maybe? Just cancel the rest? Yeah, I think so. And we'll keep running our um, missions out of Midway. Okay, let's speed up. Whoa, 200. Maybe a little bit too fast. And CTF Bravo is moving the right way. Ah, okay, we will go to 200 because. Ah. 
fighters. Okay, well that's not too big of a deal. We'll let that happen. They're probably going after my spotters, of course. That all just makes sense. Ah. Mariana Islands. Oh, okay. By what? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, that is, this is terrifying. We'll go run deep. Well, I mean, do we want to run deep? Wait. What the? The hell? Oh, that's a kingfisher. There you are. <laughs> um, this is interesting. How do we want to handle this situation? We could go for it. The drum is our experienced veteran. Hunter of the deep, come about. Let's look at. Let's actually take a moment to look at these skills because we may need them. So come about is. 20 seconds, ship may turn twice as fast. Hunter of the Deep is more important. For 20 seconds, every submarine in the ship's fleet gains doubled accuracy and increased chance of dealing damage. Ah, well, I have to say... I had one which was like silent service or run... I don't know, quiet. I don't know what it was, but... It would have been much preferable. <laughs> No, I want a submarine. I gotta sneeze here in a second. Oh, good. I, I I thought I didn't mute, but I did. Oh, okay. We're on pause. So let's just. I think we're gonna just dive. The submarines are gonna come after us. I don't know if we'll be able to deal with them. So. head this way. We'll run deep and hopefully get out of the way. I mean, every time I've done this, unless we navigate this thing itself, seems like we don't succeed. Alright. Deep water we go. Head this way. So this is really good news, though. We know where we want to go and what, yeah, they were sending spotters at after us anyway. So, CTF Bravo now has a target. In fact, CTF Alpha Able has a target. Any of them. Whoever gets there first. I don't know where these fighters are coming from. But let's watch out for this poor little submarine. Is she going the right way? She is! She's doing it! She's listening to orders! Ow! Well, yeah, we don't want... We don't want that. Attack my aircraft. What? This is a tough situation. No, I wanted you to land, damn it. Oh well. Seems like our anti aircraft is gonna help make work out of short work out of these guys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, take them down. Got them. Is there anybody else? I think that's it. Keep steady as she goes then. Back to you. No, you did diamond. Okay, so yeah, they are just retarded. You cannot, these subs are just stupid. Cannot save them. They cannot be saved. We will not build any more subs. They don't obey orders and they want to get themselves killed. Well, what can you do?
We'll try to get her out. I don't know what to even do with the subs, though. Maybe we should just suicide them. Okay, what is this? Just destroyers? Yeah. A pair of them. Okay, that's fine. Well, they didn't find me, because, you know, I wasn't stupid. I actually moved. I think we could have taken them. I think we could have. We have given our torpedoes something to do. <laughs> okay, the thing is, if we get interrupted at all with any other combat event, we cannot do this. Okay, we actually broke. Okay, that's good. So let me give the order to move this way directly. But yeah, what? This is kind of weird. Let me take a look at the log, make sure I haven't missed anything. Okay, so the invasion of Truck Lagoon, we got it. Rated, rated, Iowa class available. That's right, we didn't build any Iowas and I, you know what? You probably gotta build an Iowa, right? <laughs> you gotta build an Iowa. Let's take a look at it, if nothing else. We gotta take a look at it. Let's look at the, what's the second best one? I guess either of these are about the same. Looks like the North Carolina is slightly better. Anyways, there are 460 versus 465. This one has higher speed. This one has extra armor and more AA. And I'm sure that the upgrades for it would help that even more. Yeah, so plus five AA, minus two local, versus plus 12 AA, and North Carolina is just much better of an option. I think the higher speed also lends itself to that. Armor five is really good armor. Okay, but then we'll leave it even in the queue. The Iowa, 490, what the heck? It's not even that much more expensive. Absolutely a bargain. Has the torpedo belt, has the armor deck, just like the other ones did. It has 12 AA strength to start, armor 6 to 115, that's about right. It's a huge ship, 45,000 tons. 32.5, so it keeps up with our um, CTF Bravo, just like it's supposed to be. So this is great, I think we do, I really think we gotta build one of these. And there is an upgrade to get even more anti-aircraft up by four you know what for 15 war bonds yes absolutely so we'll take away the north carolina and we'll build uh how many days is this going to take a long time oh my gosh so the, the yorktown's like 60 78 <laughs> and we still i mean these have been under construction for eternity <laughs> we're gonna start building an iowa well you might as well build two of them right <laughs> Do we have the war bonds for that? No, I think we'll just build one. Frankly, we know the way this, we know how this story ends. Battleships just are not gonna be the way of the future. And we already see that it's much better to have just an active, some kind of air force. The, the squadrons are gonna do much more damage than the guns of the Iowa. I mean, it's it's not it's gonna be nice to have one probably hanging around, but yeah, that's the limit that I'll build is just one. Okay, so with no uh, again with no other action going on, maybe we will just. I mean, this is sailing right towards us. We gotta we gotta duck out of the way. No, I think that they know we're here. We are running deep. Oh, I really want to keep in contact with them long enough to track them down. So this is what I mean, though, about the Philippine Sea taking the Mariana Islands, taking Iwo Jima. And what we could do is even upgrade something here, like maybe Guam, maybe Iwo Jima as well. I think from Iwo Jima you can bomb, and dropping a nuke, maybe maybe you, it requires two, I don't know. Um, but dropping a nuke on Japan is one of the victory conditions. So. Looks like we'll be okay. Uh... 
And then they dial in on us. Well, first tag is coming. So this is exactly the same kind of carrier task force we saw earlier. Man, they are catching up, not surprisingly. We kind of used this island. I was kind of trying to use this island for cover, believe it or not. What do I mean by that? I just mean, you know, we can try to mess up the ability for this fleet to just follow me directly. Or in some other slightly pessimistic manner, we can think of it as I want to be next to that island if they sink me, so I, I, I can live somewhere. <laughs> the crew will have some place to. I mean, hey, if you sink a submarine, I don't think there's going to be many survivors, but. Oh, yeah. So, what the heck? That is a huge fleet. That is a huge convoy. 20 cargo ships, 5 one. I mean, it's almost possible to do. I don't think we have enough... Oh, maybe we do have enough bombers. Like, it's so worth it to get... All we need to do is take out the destroyers and we can just let our guns do the rest of the work. Even the frickin'... I don't even care. Well... I guess we shouldn't risk the Yorktown. But the Pensacola, the Salt Lake City, let them do their thing. Oh man, or if first SAG was able to get to them. Bloody hell. Let's see these on map. Heavy cruiser, where where does this, wow. Okay, that is, I'm glad that we spotted that. Okay, and this is something we already know. Oop, oh, oop, oh, we're in combat again. Ah, uh, see, we could actually get... Uh, we're underwater already, right? No. Okay, then we're not going to start next to him. F that. See, we, were, we, are, de we are in deep water. What are you talking about? All right, well, we'll ride along with this. Task Force 22 doesn't look like it has any threat of... Ah, good. We do want this. So, get another group. More victory class. We probably can stop building these. How much do they cost, by the way, 75? Yeah, that's not bad. So it's only 300 to get a group of them. Look at all these convoys leaving. I feel like we've completed convoys. Wait. Yeah, look at this. You're just... Well, they're all going to Truck Lagoon, too. <laughs> okay, this one's going to Marshall Islands. This one's going to Wake. That's good. Okay, Wake. Truck. 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 Okay, so a lot of them going to Truck. It's a big base. By the time they get there, it should be very secure. And we can take control of those convoys if we need as well. So things look okay down here. We're gonna go look for those submarines. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't let me enter the combat. I think that might be bugged. I wouldn't mind taking this out though. One heavy cruiser, that would be a challenge, but everything else we can handle. Same story. Wow, that, what the heck are the British doing? What the, I don't even know. Are they really trying to whew, sneak a 27 ship convoy? I mean, they must really wanted Madong, they must really wanted to defend the Madong. <laughs> I gotta keep an eye on this guy. I forgot that he's prone to sudden acts of stupidity. No, he's heading the right way. Okay, let's speed up. 
uh, supply convoy perfectly acceptable. Glad that we were able to start another one. So I don't know if they're actually trying to head south or if they're chasing me. Doesn't really matter. I mean, if they want to fight, we'll fight. I think we can give them a run for their money. At least take out a few destroyers. We're deep, so these airplanes should not spot me. But obviously, they, they know where I am. What, I wonder what it gave them away. Well, maybe the fact that I have a spotter airplane just sitting in the water, wherever, <laughs> wherever, wherever I go. They don't... Are they closing in? I can't tell. No. Who knows? We're wearing out the opposition. You know, I mean, all these flights, they would require fuel, and there would be, on top of that, a risk of crash landing when you come back, et cetera, et cetera, so. But I think the drum is gonna escape here. It looks good. And we'll keep going on this screen until we find something else we need to interact with. Slowly but steadily, making our way towards first sag. Who's very slow, so <laughs> very slowly but steadily. Oh, you know, every now and then I do want to see, was this flea moving this way? Yeah, it's moving this way. In fact, we can even see ships. Okay, we can actually see a lot. The Nico. Those are okay. I could deal with those. What else do you got? They might actually, they might just have sent these over. Anything with ASW. Oh, what? Nope. No, oh my gosh. So tempting. It's the Kaga. It's the you. I recognize these names. It's just two carriers and a battleship. And the Issei again. I don't know. Like, if they do happen to come across me, I'm kind of okay with it. Because at least we won't just go cheaply. We'll give them hell. Yeah, the Yumogi is actually something worthwhile. I mean, aside from all the other... Uh, I mean, the aircraft carriers and the battleships speak for itself, but... Yumogi can... It can probably hold its own against anything but our own battleships. Okay, well... What is going on here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We spotted them? <gasps> Hooray! Oh, awesome. I haven't done ASW in so long. Okay, so how do we do this? We don't. Okay, we just do this okay. Then we go detach our destroyers. And just have these guys maybe head this way. Just because then they can use the land as a defense. Hope my submarine's not going to sink while I'm doing this. Charge! Let's keep an eye on where they are. Ah, oh, they're damaged anyway. 
make it all worse for them. Staying on the surface? Well, yeah, if you want to stay on the surface, we have a solution for that. Maybe um, her dive stuff is damaged and she can't. She can't actually go under the water. Who knows? But we'll find out very quickly because if she. Oh, what? No, nope, never mind. I don't think that was me. Oh my god! There she is. Do a little ziggy zaggy. I think that's the way the Navy teaches it. You're gonna do a ziggy zaggy. I can't tell, is this two or one? Yeah, I was about to say, let's, uh, let's man those battle stations, actually. <laughs> I think it'd be a good idea. You have got to turn, mister. Cut engines and turn. I guess Craven's gonna get it done. Um Okay. I don't know where they went and we don't have enough ammunition for us to just kind of guess. Oh, she dead stopped. Yeah, now you're giving me the pings. It's like total radio silence from our sonar operator for a while. Can we like come about? Yeah, let's do this come about thing. Turn faster. Do you have this come about business as well? All hands on deck. Well, that sounds good. Sure. All hands on deck. I think we do want all hands on deck. <laughs> Seems like a critical moment. <laughs> Alright, now I got her. Got her. Got her. We got her. Alright, let's go try to save my other sub. Speaking of submarine combat. That's two of five. We're still interested in the other however many there are. And we're helping the British. We're doing it. We're doing some good. Alright, so let's get into this. Uh, get back into this fight. Yeah, look at that. You decide to just be really stupid and try to run towards that fleet that I've been doing my absolute best to have you avoid. But, you know, whatever. <sighs> you 
just can't save them from themselves. I'm going to run towards this fleet. I don't even know what this fleet is. Hopefully I don't have any other obligations which draw me off onto the another combat screen. I, I just really have a feeling that if we can control this thing directly... We can at least do more damage than the submarine is worth. Two ships should be more than the submarine is worth. Just two. I mean, there's another fleet out here now. They just launched a shell, or was that a star? Or I don't know what was going on. Okay, let's pause, take a look at the situation at large. There's not a fleet here, though. Oh my gosh. Look, at it's like the jackpot. We will take a detour. Well, no, actually, the one detour I want to take is probably head towards Guam already. All I want is for one aircraft. Could just one person save a little bit of air, uh, fuel so that we can spot this thing before we destroy it? No. No, everyone's just greedy and that's fine. Oh, well, we gotta go back in here. Oh my gosh, I just, this is something else. Oh wait, no, they're probably okay. I was looking at the wrong fleet. <laughs> I think every time we, uh, do they just keep moving themselves towards that? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe this has no effect. It is annoying. I mean, they're a good ways back. Yeah, they're dead stopped. So... They're not a big concern. I guess that this battle should be broken pretty soon, as in it should separate into um, not being a battle anymore on the main screen. Still is. Oh, this just gets me really excited. <laughs> Actually, wait, Truck Lagoon has some B-25s. Okay, well, let's go attack this. They're outside of range. Ah, oh, forget it. Darn it, anyhow. <laughs> if they were B-24s, would they? Yeah, I mean, I can answer that directly. Yes. 1800 versus 1100. Ah, drives me nuts. Why are these Mitchells even in the game? Hmm. Well, they reported five originally, but I think we're okay. Do we actually go all the way to two more? It does seem a little excessive. I mean, we're kind of needed over here. All right, we'll run back. We'll run back, we'll resupply at Port Moresby, and then just make the loop around and take on Salamawa. Let's go back to this submarine, see what she's doing. Good. She's doing all the right things. Moving towards this other fleet. Hmm. And what do you know? It's 39 minutes into this video. Well, I mean, we... I gave you a treat the last... <laughs> I gave you a treat. Boy, that's presumptuous. What I should say is I let the video run a little bit longer than normally... than I normally do in the last few, so we'll call this one to a close at more or less the usual operating time which is 39 minutes so until the next episode thanks for watching and take care